Good morning, folks. It's one of those days the science stories just pile up. We've got news from around the solar system, so let's begin over at spaceweathernews.com. We're finding the last 24 hours on our star. We are in the throes of sunspot minimum, and activity is quiet across the sun. We can see the bright active regions, but they are mostly for show. Not much in the way of sunspots. In fact, the limb grouping just has the one umbra from yesterday, surrounded by surface magnetism. There's no real eruptive potential there, and the filaments we see dancing around the limb have not been stable enough to make it to Earth-facing position. So without solar flares, we come to the solar wind. We hit the peak intensity May 8th in this stream, and because it is taking a while to ease back, the stability of Earth's magnetosphere is taking a while to come back fully as well. I can tell you that the GOES-15 magnetometer readings are erroneous, because we are all still here, the internet works, etc. Corona hole wrapping back around the disk to keep going and going back around in a marginally connected massive region. Incoming portion looks deep and strong enough to be relevant. Let's begin the articles today with the least interesting. Hard to believe when Chandra is locating tons of X-ray sources near the galactic center, both in low energy and high energy ranges, indicating that 5 to 30 stellar mass objects are existing there. Up next, we're finding a carbon-rich asteroid, the first one discovered in the Kuiper Belt. And while the planets occupy a nice equatorial orbital region, the outer objects often take much more tilted orbits, including this asteroid singled out here. Interestingly, they say its carbon means it formed inside of the system and was exiled to the outer reach. Up next, we kick it up a notch with topics that all may deserve a closer look in the future. This is what electric-minded folks have waited for. The Gaia releases revealed that many objects in space are much, much closer than we thought. To give one example, Westerland 1, a superstar cluster in the Milky Way, was thought to be between 3.5 and 5 kiloparsecs away, but Gaia has shown it is actually only about 1. That is not a small change. It is literally astronomical. Up next, a call for a paradigm shift to a more magnetic universe thinking using supernova evidence and modeling, or rather, an attempt to fix the models that can't seem to get it right. Turns out that magnetism and jet mechanism should completely replace the neutrino collapse nova mechanism used throughout science, at least in this author's mind. Last, and certainly not least, a not-at-all-subtle move by NASA. In an article that definitively speaks of a plasma universe paradigm, we are seeing evidence from the MMS mission right above our heads. For those who don't know, magnetic reconnection is about an explosive connection of magnetic field lines in the mainstream, which would be either Birkeland currents or double layers in the plasma universe, and while something like that does happen at the night side of Earth during CME impact, in the magnetosheath just outside the magnetosphere, the same kind of connection occurs on a small scale much more often occurring over distances thousands of times smaller than what happens from space weather on a planetary scale, these layered bubbles are turbulent plasma, meaning they're a field of charged particles. They are swirling around, kind of looking like Jupiter. I would expect much more plasma universe talk moving forward, folks. This does appear to be their doorway forward. Thanks to all of you who pre-registered for Observing the Frontier 2019 yesterday, Got a link below to our conference information page. Website members at suspiciousobservers.org. We had Deeper Look episode 47 on the year yesterday. A deeper insight into the BP oil spill and asphalt volcano links. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close. We greatly appreciate your support and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now. It's 425 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.